Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Tassila Kayla, for those of you who don't know. And today I'm just going to be showing you guys how I do my makeup almost every day. So this is just an everyday makeup look, not a tutorial though. Introducing not one, but two iconic Zoe Saldana characters. So I'm going to peel this off and then we can get started with my makeup. Start with the green. Okay, so obviously I don't do this every day, but I haven't done a really, well, I haven't done my glam glow mask in a really long time. Okay, so I'm going to wash the rest of this off and then I will be back. Okay, so I washed my Glam Glow face mask off and obviously I don't use it every day but everything just looks a little bit tightened and my pores look tinier so that's great and then I went and put my moisturizer on. I used the Kiehl's Ultra Facial Oil Free Gel Cream. The gel formula is like really great because it just it absorbs into your skin super super fast and you just feel it doesn't make your skin oily, it doesn't irritate your skin, it's a really good Day cream I feel for like oily skin and then I went in with my prescribed pure sun SPF 25 you know like I feel like this winter sun is just as harsh as summer sun so it's very important to protect your skin so now that I have those two things out of the way and it has set into my face a little guys my primer is like almost finished so I kind of cut it to make sure that I get everything out of it gonna go in with some primer I use the NYX shine killer I feel like I could probably put primer on better but well this is what you get um, I'm using this mirror from this body shop palette that I bought last weekend and it's a really cool palette actually and I only paid 35 Rand for it as opposed to its original price of 200 Rand okay not spending a lot of time but I know that it is everywhere now and then I'm going to use well kind of just prep prime set my face really nicely before the makeup goes on the body shop vitamin e hydrating face mist so it looks like this um just a few spritz and it also just soaks into your skin really fast so like i said this is my everyday makeup look so i'm not spending a lot of time this is when i wake up late for campus well which is every day um i've got like 10 to 15 minutes to spend on my makeup and this is basically just what I do in the morning. Like if I'm gonna get groceries, like now, well, I'm probably just gonna go and get some ice cream. But this is basically my everyday if I'm not really worried about what I'm doing. Okay, do you see how fast that's it? So now I'm gonna go in with my foundation, which is the Body Shop Matte Clay Skin Clarifying Foundation. I use the color Santiago Walnut. I really like this foundation because it's got a little bit of tea tree oil and my skin is super super sensitive to tea tree oil so this little amount is kind of all that I can tolerate as you can see I have had an issue with acne I'm on Rakuten, Rakuten. I'm not really sure how to pronounce it so yeah. clearly I feel like I should add my disclaimer that I have no technique, I am no expert in putting on makeup, this is just what I do every day. Anyway, um, as I was saying, I have acne issues, so now I've just got a lot of scarring left, so I need a really good coverage foundation, and the Body Shop one is great for that. Probably gonna need a little bit more, it's a buildable foundation which is what I love about it so when I first started using it I really didn't need that much coverage 
because my skin hadn't really broken out at that time. Also, this brush is great because I recently washed it last night. So. Just a little bit more foundation in the problem areas. And then I just bring it down to my neck to blend it a little. Oh, the brush, by the way, that I'm using is the S19 Total Buffer Brush by Switch Beauty. Okay, so I think I am pretty happy with how my foundation looks right now. Okay, so step two is concealer. I don't actually know if that's step two, but anyway, the next thing is concealer. I use the LA Girl Pro Conceal in the shade Fawn. So that is just... And just to highlight under my eyes, because most of the time I am pretty sleep deprived. And this also helps like in winter, so my foundation, I feel, is just a tad bit too dark for me at the moment because I'm not really seeing much sunlight. I haven't left my room during the day in like a week. So, not getting all of that melanin production. So this also just helps to even things out and make it look a little bit more like my actual skin. I also highlight my mouth because it is very discolored. Indian girl problems. And as you can see right now, my lips are a little bit black. That is because I was using Vaseline, not the smartest cookie there, on my lips. And then they just got really burnt. So I am going to just blend all of this out with with my other Switch Beauty brush. This is from their Total Gloss range, which I'm not sure if they still stock. Obviously this goes a lot faster in the morning because in between this, I'm having my breakfast, I am picking out, okay, what am I wearing today? Tying my shoelace. Packing my lunch. Mm, yeah. So I'm just going to go ahead and set that once again with the Vitamin E Body Shop Spray. And just let that dry for like the 10 seconds that it takes. Okay, so now that this is all dry, I am going to set my face with some setting powder. I use the Switch Beauty Matte Bounce Powder to set my face with this. If you watch my last video, you will know that I got it at their pop-up beauty sale. And I feel like this shows you how little technique I actually have. I'm just going to go over with this Eco Tools brush and just dust everything off. For my brows, I just go in with the Benefit Cabrow. It's a gel pomade. I'm not too sure. But my lips are starting to feel a little bit dry, so. Go in with some lip balm. I know that I have foundation on my lips, but I kind of just let it go because who has time in the morning? So I just take a little bit from this pot. I've been using for it, using it. I've been using this pot for over a year now. So I just 
quickly fold that in. I am really lucky, I feel very, very lucky that I have, I wouldn't say the best eyebrows, but I have pretty decent eyebrows in that I don't really have to fold them out that much and especially because I like a very natural feathery look. So I kind of just, this is like the easiest brow to fold because there's really not many sparse areas. And that's basically done. And then I just take a little bit more for the other side because the beginning of this brow is quite sparse. So it's just, I kind of just start with like a line, a very light line of how I'd want the brow to look. And I just fill it in, it's very light strokes. I have not done my eyebrows for this year because the last time it was the end of last year I think and I had my eyebrows done by my usual lady and she did them very unevenly and then just to make it look a little bit more natural I just go in with an old spoolie just to brush things out and then Brows are done. So for mascara, I like curling my eyelashes because I have very short, straight lashes, unfortunately. And this just, you know, gives them a little bit of life. I'm not even gonna lie, I am so scared that one day I am going to take my eyelashes out or accidentally pinch my eyelid, you know. As you can see by what happened with my setting powder, I'm not like, I'm not the least clumsiest person around. I don't know why, but I do like to do my face like starting from the top, coming down. Because I feel like once you have your eyes and you're going to have your lips to match that, you don't want your blush or your highlighter to clash or whatever's happening on your eyes. So for mascara, I am using the Too Faced Better Than love waterproof i assume that it is called better than love because i got it in sephora in dubai so they wouldn't use you know any kind of other foul vulgar language whoops and i got mascara yeah so I'm just gonna let that dry and then I'll sort that out after. You guys are probably gonna be like, why is she filming a, like a makeup video? She obviously has no idea what she's doing. And I don't, I really don't, but that's okay. This is video to just let people know it's okay to not know what you're doing, you can fix it. So to fix the mascara issue, I am just going to just pop a little bit of concealer. Well, I'm going to try and take it out first. Oh, it's much lighter now. And now it's basically gone. Okay, so that is basically the eye look. It's so basic. So the last bit is just the cheeks, highlighter, and lips, which is a very, very quick part of my routine. So for blush, I use the Essence. It's a little pot that I got from Diskim. It is called, it's Berry Time. It is a soft matte blush. So I just take a little bit, just a little bit, and then On the apples and then I kind of just bring it out to sort of give my face some definition there I'm not even sure I do feel like I went a little bit too high with the blush on this side but that's fine that is what we have brushes for A 
Okay, so after blush, it is on to the highlighter. So I use the Glowgasm palette. I use the rose gold color because that is just gorge. And I feel like it matches my skin tone best, so. I just kind of put it wherever I want to be shiny. There. And a little bit there. And then I just like to go underneath my eyebrow. So just a little bit. And then highlight my nose. Can you see that? Can't you see that? And then the last thing is a lip color. So for every day, I kind of just go with a nudey color. So it's either like Colourpop Tansy or Barracuda. No, I think this is. No. Barracuda or Tulle. Or my Huda Beauty. This is the color Spice Girl. But I think for today, I have bright red pants on. So I'm going to have bright red lips as well because why not so in the morning i really don't have time to line my lips or anything so i just i have my lip balm underneath that will keep everything hydrated for the day and then i also really need to do my upper lip So this is basically the look. Um, the color that I use is the I Love Sarah times Colourpop Ultra Matte Lip and it is, it is in the shade Ariba which I think is such a fun name for a lip color. And this is the final look so thank you so much for watching guys. Everyone who showed me support on my first video it means the world to me and those of you who are new or have not subscribed click that red button uh, don't forget to like share comment and well see you guys next week sorry to turn this into an actual model video but I forgot that the final thing that I do just before I step out of the house is spritz my face once again with my vitamin E spray so this just kind of makes everything set blend stay for the entire day and yeah now this is the end welcome back to my video welcome back to my video okay what are you doing uh